ETN at technophilespodcast.com. I'm David Geisler, and this is the Technophiles Podcast. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. This is part three of episode 285. I'm David Geisler here with V Lobs, Crystal Lee Malone, and Jake Gill. And Crystal Lee, tonight, uh, we already talked about in part one, we talked a little bit about the, the... Fine Brothers. Oh, the and Fine Brothers, yes. Their failed React trademark. <laughs> Indeed. And then in part two, Jake, we discussed uh, Google Fiber coming to some two places in need. To yeah. places yeah. in need. Fantastic. <laughs> this is part three here. And um, Crystal Lee, we're talking about internet y things again. Um, we are. So we are talking about a patent that was filed by an inventor from IBM. And this would be basically what I called it in the title was your own personal Google. This would be a way for um, a search engine. I'm looking for words because like this is... this is It's like memory index. Yes. Right? It's like... Me- yes. Yeah. It's weird. Like there's not really a... It's a cognitive assistant. Yeah, kindness isn't meaning. I don't think they're not saying that they can like read your memories and log them like Total Recall style. But right. I think they're saying they can deduce your memories and log that and and mm. am I, am I, right. Yes, yes no? you are. So what they do is they use environmental input. Mm-hmm. The patent says at least one, and it doesn't specify what the environmental input is in the patent. Um, but it would use that. So for example, if like I walk up to let's say you, David. Um, and I have, let's say my environmental input is like video or something. Okay. So they see your face. Yep. It might be like, hey, his name's David Geisler. Right. So then I don't have to. So it's your. Um, you have it. To, oh my gosh. When can I get one of these? It's like your own personal I mean, Anne Hathaway so walking around with you. In the devil's wear, devil wears Prada. I can't believe I nope. just oh. referenced oh. that. No. See, I, I went, got it. I went to I was, like, I was about to be like, that's Scarlett Johansson in her that's in his ear. You know oh what I mean? <laughs> Wow. Wrong oh. actress. No, when the what's when the fashion designer's at the party and it's Anne Hathaway's job to like say everyone coming up and like talk yeah, about who they are and yeah. all that. Um, yeah, whatever. No, she steals the show by like. Oh, you're no, right. The other Emily Blunt. Sick. Yeah, is, yep, can't pull yep, it off. Yep. I've never seen this movie. She's I too mean, busy I've wearing mech warrior I mean. suits and fighting aliens with Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you hear that she might be uh, Captain Marvel? Anyway, Emily Blunt doesn't matter. Keep oh, going. Didn't hear. It. <laughs> that's for Brain next. That's that's for another episode. Helping me remember <laughs> names because. Oh my gosh, that is something I absolutely need. I'm the absolute worst with names. It would be nice. I'm great with faces, bad with names. So they're they're talking about, now again, right? The I don't patent, think any of you are alone, right? Right, yeah. no, no, nobody's yeah. alone. In fact, I think we're getting worse and worse, but I will come back to that in a Ooh, moment. Interesting. Um, so uh, and they're also talking about um, putting in um, detection for when you need the prompt. Right, because that you don't necessarily want something like in your ear or in your head or wherever it's going to yeah. be being like, oh, his name's David Guy. So maybe I see you every day. I don't need to be reminded of your yeah. name, right? right? So you like don't necessarily just want face all the right. time. So they're talking about um, like one possibility they're talking about is, you know, maybe it'll deduce that if you have hesitated for yes. X amount of seconds that you need the prompt. Yep. And so then it gives it to you. And, and that, and that, um, that gap. And I can mm-hmm. imagine that amount of hesitation can dynamically adjust up and down too, based on how often you've has if you keep hesitating for some reason, you know, over the course of months, whatever, who knows? Right. So we're definitely talking about a little like AI here where it's going to have to learn you. This is not going to be something where it's like off the shelf. You plug it in mm-hmm. and it just knows you you're not downloading right? your no. brain yeah right you are not downloading your brain it's going to calibrate it right it's going to look at your behaviors it's going to look at the environmental input it's going to calibrate to you and then Holy be specific smokes. and then it's going to be specific to you so it's not like you're going to be able to be like oh i'm done with it i'm gonna like sell my used copy what? Right. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You have to, you have to, um, you know how people sometimes have to go through physical therapy to like retrain a leg or something like mm-hmm. that, but it's like not physical therapy to retrain your brain, but you're going to, ha- you're going to have to train this thing. Um, but, but no, 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 no. I shouldn't say it that way. It'll just train alongside with you. Not, not that well, you have right. to, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Semantics, I guess that is kind but, of how it works. Um, but reset the inputs, right? Get, for sure. Give it the new context. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> Um, but because also, okay. So because the whole like bad memory thing was already being joked about a lot. Um, I also, wait, 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 are you a goldfish? What was the question? <laughs> Is this a podcast? We got some goldfish. How did I get on here? Oh. Crystal Lee, I apologize. Um, well, uh, what were you gonna say? No. Well, okay. So think of, I, I've noticed this, this, you, okay. This used to embarrass me until I realized everybody else does it. 
I can't remember phone numbers at all anymore. At oh, sure. All. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it's in my phone. Right. I don't have to. I had to look up my own phone yes. number in my phone. Oh, it was <laughs> Wait, really embarrassing. I've this done is, this. I, I've had, I've been, this is maybe a little ridiculous, but I've been like, Siri, what's my phone number? And then I'll tell you. I yeah. No, I, I've done this. I've gotten into the habit now where I have it set where my phone number's up front so that if somebody asks me for my phone number, hmm. that I can just be like, here it is and show them a screen of my phone um but you can kind of now you can kind of quickly pull down with your search and just start typing your name and then you can get to your phone number pretty quickly well and now actually what you can uh, at least on the iphone um what i like is you can do where um it's like a quote-unquote business card right so now i can cover my lack of memory by sounding techy and being like let me send you my digital Mm. business card right oh yeah (laughs) i've done that and this is similar to stuff we were talking with Stuart malthrop all about in our last live show true um episode 280 i think for what funny it's that we yeah. remember all these pathways and ways to access the information, yes. but we don't actually and like remember the information. Jake, that itself. is exactly That's... the conversation we had with with Stuart, and it was we we had examples of like spell check and mm-hmm. calculators and all yep. these different things where yep. you start tr- learning how to get the information. You don't have to remember the information anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's all this, So there's a couple other uh, things that I, that I wanted to bring up with this. Um, so it's not clear what this thing would be like is this an sure. earpiece that you will wear is this a cell like phone augment, is this augmented well, reality glass i mean is it just right. one thing or is it like is it basically like getting access to every because i mean like we already have wearables we have wi-fi cams we have our computers right. like our xboxes mm-hmm, yeah. everything's talking to each other so this is one of those things where it's like is this like the master switch like plug it in you're like hey I th- so here's my Wi-Fi this password. Is the like, final end point? go. I think a Just little bit. Get everything. Well, perhaps. I think it's definitely yeah. It's the patent is much more about like the software and the code. I think mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because yeah. oftentimes in this article I'm even noticing right now it's saying like a device, not the device. Right. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and if you look at the like the actual patent abstract, um, they're talking about a system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With. And then, like, vague environmental oh sensors. So it's, or... it's going to be home kit for your... It's going to be brain kit. It, yeah. I, you oh. know, that's exactly... Oh. It sounds like a home kit for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's two things that come to mind. One, and this is, of course, me being a teacher. What if it's something really small and a student's wearing it during a test? Well, then, I mean, we can very quickly jump to the part is when do these when does this software become legal to use in a test because we've decided it's part of our brain functioning? Like that's probably a couple generations down. Sure. But mm-hmm. I'm. But that's you know. Yeah. I think at that point you're kind of like, let's not give this test anymore, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. At that point, we <laughs> may not need to test anymore. Yeah. yeah you've got it like, all. I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Which there's there's a lot of theories out there that we shouldn't be testing. So, but let's not tangent down there right sure, now sure, sure. um yep, yep, yep. but here's the other thing and this was kind of touched on in the article um although my brain went to much scarier places so what about when someone hacks your brain then hacks your brain well look this is going to have environmental sensors right it's it, there's going to have to be yeah. either cameras microphones something that's recording in order to learn we, you and learn these things you're forgetting we really need to be clear about one thing here though or at least i want to make sure that we're clear about one thing we're talking about like our brain hacking our brain and stuff like that but if we i was joking earlier about emily blunt and edge of tomorrow and all that stuff mm-hmm. with the like the mech suits but i just now realized that that metaphor is very similar to this this is not something that's jamming itself into our brain and changing our our literally changing our firing inside our brain Correct. it becomes yeah. a if, if i may a little mech suit that you know, abstractly so yeah. that our brain wears and it helps. I yeah. want to make that clear. Like yeah, in the and article they're referencing like a cognitive assistant. Right. Right. And yeah. thank you. So I was obviously being a little flippant <laughs> with saying your brain. Um, but I mean, it would be similar to honestly, like people have talked about um, uh, hacking cell phones and laptops for exist for existence, for example. Right, because people can hack into cameras and then see where you are, what you're doing, mm-hmm, etc. Right. I mean, there are already stories out. So now, if you have something like this, where you're, and presumably, if it's going to work well, you're going to have to have it on you all the time. It's going to have to be recording what you're doing all the time. If someone hacks into that. Someone is now like having access Whoa. to what you're doing all the time, where you are, where mm-hmm. your patterns. They'll be able to to find you. And yeah. Whatnot. But I, I wonder if there's a way that it can like read your brain patterns, like what, like see what you're seeing through your eyes, but via what's going on in your noggin. 
So the I the way I understand this this patent, mm-hmm. which I am not accustomed to reading patents. Oh, so it's, it's tricky. It feels like it's yeah. all external. Yeah, this it feels all external. They talk about okay. um uh situation context um environmental sensors and factors it's all very um i mean even in the article when they were talking about like if you hesitate they're talking about like the way it's described it sounds like if there is a three second pause in the middle of a sentence oh. we're going to assume you have forgotten this word yes right. they, they don't say anything that suggests that this that is it's, internal it's, reading, it's not reading brain patterns like like um neural sensors there could i imagine there could eventually be hardware that might be able to interact with this kind of code yeah but that's not i don't think that's the the front and center thing right now yeah that like that does technology to like read wave brain wave so if someone were to hack this profile this thing's basically building a profile of you if someone's hacking that i guess i'm thinking more of like the feasibility like how it could happen but um the idea itself is brilliant but actually if you th- now that like you think about it like asking about the external thing this probably wouldn't be that much worse than if somebody hacked into your facebook sure. think about how personal it, pe- no, some right. people get on well facebook. if you think about the algorithms that are built for ad- that google and facebook build to make sure that they're advertising to you correctly mm-hmm. if you multiply that up a few times mm-hmm. I mean, I've been invited to things where people have included their personal address. Yeah. Yeah. On on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, but I'm trying to think. So we have this we have this kind of like half exi- version of you. We have this profile. Really, it's it's creating a data profile. Mm-hmm. What's the risk? What's the positive? What's the positive? Is it it helps us think? Yes. It helps us think. Which I'm not even sure is positive. Well, it's it that falls exactly in with like the were yes. calculators a good thing? Was spell check a good thing? Is Google a good thing? Like mm-hmm. that's all that same conversation. And I think that that I don't know, we're not gonna have that conversation here. We had it a little bit in episode two eighty. Um but what it really does come down to, and you bring up a good point, yes, if someone okay, so if let's say someone hacks your Facebook page or your Google account profile then it really knows and I'm really sim- making it simple here, then it really knows that you love green sweaters or something like mm-hmm. that, right? Obviously, it's way more complicated than that. I always goes back to sweaters with him. I love, yeah, I love this sweaters. this concept that everybody's just trying to sell sweaters <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> we talked about that when we were talking about like David um, wants all the sweaters. Cloud I home. I stuff. always go to sweaters just because it's quick and easy. Yeah. Like it's a good. It's it's it's, it's basically it's inoffensive. Because who doesn't yeah. love a sweater? And who doesn't love a good sweater? <laughs> As we are all wearing sweaters today. <laughs> I'm the, the closest show. to not, but it I still love it. <laughs> um, yeah, sweaters are good things. So um, you were saying. Um, so okay, fine. So what happens if this if someone gets your profile? What can they do? Can they then re inverse that data and then this thing is assisting you with incorrect data? Okay, so let me actually give you an example from a um, laptop. Yep. Where this something happened. Okay. Um, now this would be in, in this story the the relation would be the sensors of seeing something that you are doing or someplace that you are. Um, so and now this is true story taken from the news. Uh, a school gave, they didn't give, but students were rented laptops or whatever mm-hmm. to use for the year. The school kept a back door so that they could view through the <sighs> no, camera no. at all times. Mm-hmm. The kid ended up getting suspended for something that he was doing at home that was picked up by the camera. Okay. Now this turned in, the reason this made the news was because the parents went ballistic and said, excuse me, but you are bringing your authority into my home. Right. You are videotaping my kid. I did not know you were doing that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and the, there's all the parents have to sign something that says that that's okay, and that is yeah. highly unlikely. And they, these parents had no idea this was happening. And of course, there are all sorts of other implications aside from the fact of the school's authority doesn't belong in the home. Um, but then also, how many times has a computer been left on and you've like gotten undressed to go take a shower or get in PJs for bed, or now we have a bunch of kids who have their laptops up and God what had been recorded from those laptops. Yeah, that's scary. So not, so yeah, so you're recording, but, and that is, I mean, so that's still a hack through hardware, and I'm struggling with that a little bit, because we're not talking about hardware in this story, we're talking about software. But, but this system has to use environmental sensors in order to function. So it's... 
Right. So yeah. the, if the hardware it's integrating with gets hacked, okay. that it's using in order to learn the. Learn Can we use a HomeKit example here? Can we use a HomeKit example of like some someone hack your HomeKit, make the lights turn on and all that stuff, and make doors open and close when you don't want it to? Sure.